Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Good to have you back. So what am I gonna be doing today? I'm gonna be doing something that's a bit raw and you've been asking me to do it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I keep my van shiny. All right, so welcome back. Um, this video is going to be pretty raw today. I'm going to just cut these, this video and see if I can make a van detailing video for you because you guys have been asking me a bunch of times over the last several months to make a video like this. Uh, I haven't jumped at it because I don't actually see myself as a detailer. However, I do keep my van clean. So why don't just show you how I do it and you can let me know if in the comments you thought the video was any good. Let's get into it.
tip for you guys, when you're in your drying process, before you get too far down the line, flip the mirrors. You'll thank me in the morning. Guys, I'm just using a nice soft drying towel. I've got a couple of these, usually a couple is enough to do the whole van. And then just hang them out to dry. bit of stuff for the tires. By the way, I always do my wheels to, at the end so the van don't dry out. All right, guys, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, just a few things to say before I go. I am not a professional car valeter, detailer, whatever you want to call it. I just, that was what I do on a regular basis. And those are the products that I use. A lot of those products are nothing special. And some of them I don't even really like that much. Like that snow foam, not a big fan. It's I don't know how I feel about snow foam. It does help and help to loosen the mousse on all that debris and stuff so you don't end up sort of dragging it around the car. But other than that, you know, I don't know. Um, but there is one product that it really is the secret sauce. And um, that is this stuff. Meguiar's Wash and Wax. Um, I honestly think this stuff is brilliant. Uh, I've been using it for probably as long as I've owned the van. It just seems to leave like a, a really good protection. You can see it when the rain lands on the vehicle because I don't actually overly polish or detail the vehicle. I've probably done it twice in four years. And, uh, but that stuff really is responsible for all those pictures looking sweet and all the Instagram feedback and stuff that you give me. So if I'm going to recommend anything, it's going to be that stuff. Um, if there are any detailers that watch this video that are probably sitting there going, no, Potter, put your stuff in the comments because you, uh, you know, if there's something there that I think will really help my audience, then I will pin that comment to the top. But I know there's a hell of a lot of people that have got right into this. Um, and uh, three of the pointers that I can share with you, which are ancient facts. I learned this stuff from my dad. Um, one, you clean the car from the top down, because uh, otherwise all the mucky water you know, if you start at the bottom and then you work and then you start wiping windows, you, you're just kind of the mucky waters running back down on bit you've done. So it's kind of common sense. But there's step one. Number two, don't drop a sponge or whatever it is you're using to clean it with. Don't drop it. If you do, go and rinse it. Uh, I have a grit guard in the bottom of that bucket and it actually 
Um, I did see a video on, I think it was a Maguire's video actually, where they had one with a grit guard, they had another one with water, just plain water in it. And um, each time they were taking that mitt f um, from the soap onto the van and then they would push it down in the clear water onto a grit guard to sort of get, get off any debris and then back into the other one. I mean that's some pretty excessive stuff but if you're serious about your paint job or your vehicle's worth an absolute fortune and you're just overprotective about everything then it's probably making some more sense as well that you don't ever have, uh, you're doing as, best, as much as you can if you're going that far. I'm not going that far. Um, so yeah, do take what you will um, of that. But on the, um, the the last thing really is the last one of my three rules is do it a lot. <laughs> Just clean it a lot. That's what I do. And um, then you don't get too much build up, so it's not too hard to get it off. You know, I think whenever I do my wife's car, which might be guilty of letting that go a little bit longer. Uh, quite a lot longer apparently. Uh, yeah, it's a lot harder to wash her car than it is to wash my van. And it's just because I do it a lot. So those are my three steps. Wash top down. By the way, I didn't go up on that roof. Um, no, I didn't. That's once every six months. I don't even, I think there's a bit of grass growing up there. Um, so uh, don't shoot me down for that one. But if you do do your roof every do, time you do your van, then fair play. Um, I definitely don't, and I'm guilty of that. But I do do it. I've probably had the van. It's going to be coming up on its fourth birthday in September, I think. I must have been up there about two or three times, I think. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, it still looks good up there. Um, I'll give the grass a mo, you know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's going to be a wrap for this video. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing today and helping me to reach my 10K target. I want to buy a new, nice new camera and that's my little treat if we get there. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload. And thanks once again for watching this video. See you soon.